So, guys, look at it. Mr. Theo Randall, Michelin star chef, in my kitchen. I'm halfway through, I've got my pancetta on, I've got my spaghetti on. Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to the brand new 2020 Audi RS6. This is a car that I've been very, very excited about getting behind the wheel of. And today is a very big day because for me, uh, today is the day I'm collecting my new puppy. And uh, what better car to go and do a four hour round trip than the Audi RS6. Now, there are a number of videos uh, coming out on this car. Uh, the full review will be out shortly as well as a POV drive. So if I don't cover everything in this video, make sure to subscribe because I'm sure I'll cover it in the next videos. This specific video, I wanna talk about just how good this car is on a long distance cruise because I've driven the Audi RS7, which is a very similar platform. In fact, it's almost identical. And I drove that from London all the way to Monaco. And uh, I can tell you it was one of the most comfortable road trips I have ever done in my life. And a very similar story can be said about the 2020 RS6. Now, this car runs a four litre V8 by turbo engine with mild hybrid system, which produces 600 PS and 800 Newton meters of torque. That is seriously quick. And what that equates to from a performance perspective, it delivers a zero to 62 mile an hour time in just 3.6 seconds. Now, just to kind of give you a kind of quick understanding of just how quick that is we're just joining a dual carriageway now so uh, I'll slow it down into first you can just see how much that, that acceleration picks up it is an absolute beast and you have that beautiful V8 grunt as well which I absolutely love on this thing now we're gonna be in this car for quite a while and uh, one thing I can say about the Audi RS6 is the interior cabin space is is amazing it's so it's massive it's comfortable you get everything that you need from a high-end luxury sports car and when I mean high-end I'm talking hundred and thirty nine thousand pounds worth of high-end that's how expensive this car is it's not a cheap car now this car comes equipped with a whole lot of options as well to make this long four-hour drive a pleasurable one now obviously for you guys I'm not gonna be turning the music on because well I'll get a copyright strike on YouTube however this car does come equipped with a Bang & Olufsen sound system upgrade which costs six thousand four hundred pounds six and a half grand for a sound system I, mean, I don't think I don't think some clubs pay that much money for a sound system I mean that is ridiculous now we're about to join the motorway and uh, as we do this is the other party trip that the Audi RS6 has, which is a good thing as well, because we get so many different driving modes on this. Obviously I've got it in RS mode now, because RS mode is the mode that you can hear this. You hear all of that beautiful exhaust noise that comes out the back. This is a 3,000 pound RS exhaust with the RS suspension, but we can drop down into different modes, such as the uh, normal mode, dynamic mode, and efficiency mode. Now the efficiency mode is a very good mode because what this car does, it shuts down four of the cylinders, which when you're thinking about a long drive, that's kind of exactly what you'll want because you're not gonna wanna hoon around everywhere, says the man who's approaching a roundabout and goes straight back into RS mode. But you'll get the gist. And the four wheel drive platform as well just punches you out of corners. Brilliant, you very rarely get into trouble with this car. But as I was saying, you go back to the uh, the advanced efficiency mode or the efficiency mode and it shuts down four of the eight cylinders. So in theory, you should get a pretty decent MPG. Now Audi say that this car will do around about 23 miles to the gun, I believe it is. And in, in the efficiency mode on a motorway, that should push on closer to hopefully around the mid thirties or so. Don't forget this is a four liter V8. The kick down endless power all the way up the power band revving in just under 6800 rpm which is the norm for most of these turbocharged cars but from a car that delivers so much and a car that for me is an icon a car that audi have made time and time again and each time they get it very very right so reached the stop just before collecting the dog and uh, whilst we're here 
gives me a moment. It is chucking it down with rain now. This is not good. Typical British weather. The uh, six and a half thousand pound sound system, me and the missus actually definitely enjoyed it. But we'll do a quick little walk around. Uh, again, nothing too fancy because I've got a full review coming, but we've got the kind of night pack edition on this. So it's glo um, gloss black all over here. We've got lots of carbon fiber down here. Very, very nice. These Matrix headlights are unbelievably good. I'm a big fan of this. Of course, the Nardo Grey for me is a winner. I'm a massive fan of Nardo Grey. What do you guys think? I know for some people, Nardo Grey isn't great because they seem to think it's like primer, but I love it. I absolutely love it. This is a money shot right here. 22 inch wheels with 9,400 pound, uh, no, 9,700 pound carbon ceramics. And look how big the discs are in comparison. So you can see, um, yeah, they have, these wheels are huge. The brilliant thing with the Avant, of course, especially if you've got like a family and you're doing a long journey, is just how big the size of the boot is. And of course, you can fold the rear seats down and ultimately you've got even more space, which is absolutely insane. Of course, motorized boot lid, bring that down. Alcantara steering wheel, which is lovely, not too thick, which is what I like. Uh, these are the seats, they are absolutely winning. And, I've, and I'm quite tall, so I'm six foot, so if you look now and I go around to the back in terms of just how much rear space the passenger has, I mean, a six foot person here with ample space here in the back, as you can see, we've got a little Rolo's uh, travel seat. There'll be a full review of this car uh, and a POV drive as well. So if you like dogs, then I suggest you stay on for the rest of this video. And also I've got a bit of a dinner evening tonight with Audi. They left me some stuff yesterday because me and a load of influence is going to be doing some cooking with Theo Randall. So I'll bring you along for that as well if that's something you like. Look at it. This is little Rolo. Say hello, Rolo. He is the most gorgeous little French border guy I've ever seen. He's been amazing on the way down. Obviously, I didn't film too much. What's going on? He's, uh, he's been amazing on the way down. He had a little bit of a moment we picked him up naturally, but he's just been chill. We gave him a couple of chew toys, didn't we? Yes, yes, yes we did. A couple of chew toys, and, um, and he just passed out. Absolutely amazing little I think he likes me and do you know what I have to say um, this car and I guess to be fair any car that is uh, quite big spacious comfy it, it's a godsend because he was passed out like a light amazing so the RS6 is definitely a great car <laughs> to collect your little French Bulldog in uh, let's get you home yes, let's get you home <laughs> guys you have no idea how happy we are and um, yeah we're gonna get home and then we'll introduce him to his crate What's up? <laughs> See you in a bit. So we've got him home. He's uh, adapting to crate life pretty good. We took him outside, trying to teach him to, I guess, go to the toilet outside. Then I uh, pretty much tired him out with a bit of play and here you go. Now he's passed out and he's dreaming. What a dude. So a long way into the night, you can see Mr. Theo Randall, Michelin star chef, in my kitchen. That is insane. And um, I'm halfway through, I've got my pancetta on, I've got my spaghetti on, I've got my wine on. I've had quite a few glasses of this already, this is going well. Um, and I'm making my salad and stuff, so um, yeah. This is actually pretty cool. I mean, what Audi UK have pulled together here is unbelievable. I mean, look, that's just insane. What a legend. We've got loads of the other guys here on the left there as well. Right, I'll show you the finished product when it's ready. Okay, how are we doing? Is everyone, everyone caught up? I'm having, a, I'm having a look around and I think we're all looking very professional and very, <laughs> everything in control. But I am just going to pop to Steph and check that Steph is getting on okay with the chopping because Steph, are you okay? Are you good over there? And you can, can you hear me? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah we you can hear I'm getting there. I'm trying to pretend I know what I'm doing. You've got no, a nice cooker. 
Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing this one. I'll, I'll be good. You guys crack on. Don't worry. I'll be fine. No, that's fine. Just, I'm just doing a spot check on you. That's all. Again. <laughs> okay, so sort of big brother cooking. Mr. Theo literally taught me how to make a carbonara pasta. There we go, we're getting there. I need to add some pepper on it and um, finish off the salad. Mad. So today's been a very eventful day, guys. It's been amazing. Mr. Theo Rendell has helped me create this. I'm going to indulge in some wine, knock down my pasta, and uh, yeah. Obviously, massive thank you for watching the video. I really support, really appreciate you guys watching. Obviously, Rolo's there. He's passed out, honestly. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all very soon on the next one. Take care.